Welcome to Garden Wise Adventures. My name is Malie and today we're going to go on a new adventure. I am learning something new and I'd like to take you along and see if we can figure this out together. Now I'm here next to my golden currant. I love the taste of it. It's been planted in the ground for three years, but it has really, really struggled. And it's been struggling with insect pressure and I wanna show you what it looks like. So if you look at the leaves on my current, you can see that the edges are really scalloped, but you can really see how this one is torn up and you can see the scalloped edges. Now I did some asking around and found somebody who's really knowledgeable. This area is really torn up and they say this is definitely root weevil damage. So we've got root weevils that are just decimating my plant. So they not only eat the leaves, their larva burrow into the ground and eat the roots. So we've got some, it's got a weird shape to it. It's, you know, got the scale, you know, the damage on the leaves and then the roots are being damaged. Now that's not the only plant that's being damaged. This is my Aurora honeyberry and it's got some pretty severe damage on it too. I also did some more research to see what I could do about it. There are insecticides that will kill it. Seven will kill the root weevils as they come out to eat on the leaves. And I'm not opposed to spraying, and I've sprayed a couple of times, but I cannot make myself get out here and spray the number of times that is needed to make a dent in the population. So I did find there is an organic option that is a little unusual, and it's applying something called nematodes. Now, nematodes are microscopic little, lar little worms that will go in and they actually eat the larva. And online, I found a company that sells them. It's called Arbico Organics, and I'll put a link to them down below. And I called them and asked them about their nematodes just to kind of see, you know, what they say about it. And they were extremely helpful. So I would encourage you, if you're, going, if you're thinking about buying nematodes, definitely call Arbico Organics and they will tell you everything you need to know about it. How many you need to order, the variety that you need to order, because there's several different varieties that kill several different insects. And they'll tell you exactly how to apply it because it's tricky. It's not just a spray it and you're done. It's, we're gonna go through the process here. But anyway, the variety that I ordered, ordered is called Nemaseek HB, and that will kill the, the root weevil larva. Now they said the best time to apply the, these, the best time to apply nematodes is in the fall and in the spring. You need to apply it when the soil is wet, and then you need to be able to keep the soil wet for the next couple of weeks and water right after you apply the nematodes. And also the soil needs to be 50 degrees or above. Now, we're pushing it a little bit. Our nighttime temperatures get up into the upper 40s, but the daytime temperatures are in the 70s. And I asked her about our, our weather right now and told her exactly what it was like. And she said, we're right on the edge of them being viable, but she's positive that they'll be okay. So. We're going to be applying those nematodes today. I already went out and watered everything and I'll show you exactly what I'm going to use to be applying and how to apply it. So this is what came in the mail and this is the Nemaseek. I ordered 10 million. So this is what they sent. So this is the Nemaseek. It came with a cold pack and with instructions to put it in the refrigerator until you can use it and it will only last in the refrigerator about two weeks. So I got this on Wednesday. This is Sunday, so we should have plenty of time. And this is what the, you know, the product looks like. So inside here are a bunch of little nematodes. So like I said, I went out and I pre-watered everything. And then they, they said that I need to take my hose end sprayer or whatever sprayer that I'm gonna use, cause you can use any kind of sprayer and fill it without the product to just fill it with just plain water. So see how many times it takes to fill this container to cover the amount of area that you want to cover. So I did that. I put plain water in here and went and sprayed the entire area I want to spray. And it took two of these. This is 32 ounces of water and I'm going to be filling this up two times. So this is going to be 64 ounces of water to cover all the area that I'm going to be covering. And then we'll just fill it twice out of here. That way I think I will get the right mixture. Okay, so now we're going to mix the product. Hopefully I am doing this correct. The instructions were not extremely clear, but I'm pretty sure the total of water is going to be 64 ounces because it's uh, because you have to fill this container twice. Now I need to mix this really well because there is a strainer in here. 
and I'm not able to remove the strainer off of the tip of this. So I'm going to open my container. This is a pretty cool container. This is an ortho sprayer. It's got a weight on the bottom, so it looks like you can actually tip the sprayer and still be able to get the product out. We're going to stir it one more time just to make sure I'm getting the same amount of, of product into each application. Fill it up to the 32 ounce mark. So now if I understand their directions correctly, I have one application and the second application right there. So let's go connect this to my hose and get everything sprayed. Now one thing that I forgot to mention is that the application rate, according to the directions, should be at 4 ounces. They said, well, they actually said anywhere between 2 and 4 ounces, depending on what you feel you need. I'm putting it on the heaviest application, which is 4 ounces. Now that I've got this attached to the hose, I'm going to start spraying and I'm going to continuously agitate this so that the product is mixed and we get even coverage. And I'm going to make sure that we cover the entire area because I don't know where the larvae have moved to. Now I'm also going to spray on the other side of the path just to make sure I'm getting any root weevils on this side. I'm not seeing too much damage on this side, but I don't want them to spread from the areas where I've treated them. Now we've got all my plants sprayed. I actually even sprayed my strawberry bed because it also kills strawberry root weevil. And maybe that's the reason that I've been having a hard time getting any production out of my strawberry bed. So after we sprayed everything in, we went and watered everything down. Now, the reason to water everything down is to push the nematodes down further into the soil. They need really moist soil to be able to live and to be able to move around in. Now, they don't move laterally, so they're not going to be moving from spot to spot in my garden, but they will move up and down the column where I applied them. So they'll go searching for their prey and kill all of those nasty little root weevils. So I'm going to be reapplying this in the spring once the soil has reached about 50 degrees and that's probably going to be close to the time that I plant tomatoes next year. So it's going to be near the end of May, somewhere you know possibly the beginning of June. So hopefully this will help control the infestation and I will update you at the end. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If my videos are helpful to you, I hope you like, subscribe, share them with your friends and go have a wonderful garden adventure.